Hey, welcome back for last episode. I got the fire, or I defeated the fire dragon, got the red relic, and then I got confused. And I went, at first I have to do this now. I went all the way to freaking uh, Marble, because I thought that's what I had to do to, uh, to get the black dragon to fight me. Turns out it wasn't going to work. Oh, I have to fix up Fargo's elements now. It wasn't going to work because he's asleep. And in order to get him to wake up, I have to, for some inane reason, I'll figure out why. There's probably a reason. There's probably a reason. I'm just bitter because I have to go back to the home world and do all this shit again. But I'm sure there's a reason. But yes, I have to go back to the home world. Do all this shit right now because I will forget and that would be a bad time. Uh, and then I have to talk to the home world, Fargo. And then some shit will transpire. And I will have progress. I will have glorious, unbelievable, amazing progress. And it will be great. Trust me. <laughs> it will be amazing. I, I, f I feel like it would be amazing. It, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I may... I may be losing my mind. It's a very large possibility. We'll see. We'll make that distinction ourselves along the way. Together. Uh, I can't put that anywhere else but here. That's fine. It's just gonna sit in the middle of the thing. That's good with me. There we go. Wait, I need another one. Let's just fix this. There we go. Hmm. I don't like it, but it's gonna be this way. Actually, you know what? I've got a lot of cure flesses. I'm putting another aqua ball there. There we go. Woo! To Apostle Beach! Oh, I'm already there? Alright, cool. I blinked out a minute there. Astro Amulet. Woo! Because I think the thing is, is that I have the nice version of Fargo. Is it the home world? I think it is. I'm taking a wild guess that it is the homeworld version. Yes, it is the homeworld version, because that version of Fargo was a dick. So we're going to do that. There's probably a reason he's a dick, but, you know, for all intents and purposes, he was a dick. There you are. There's the S's, Zalba's, or whatever. Aha! I made the right choice. Excellent. Now to go look for Fargo. And then have a very nice conversation with him. With his other self. Uh, would he be down in the lower decks? Probably? Perhaps in his room? I wanna think he's in his room. Mr. Fargo! Door. Uh, there you are! I made the right choice. I, landlubber. Are you... me? Ah, it can't be! Don't even associate yourself with me! You're being a sissy, Fargo. Strong words. You're pathetic! I, too, had the possibility of becoming a jelly belly like yourself. Oh, those really hard words hit him. I know about the, 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 the pain. We're moving this ship along with Nikki's to Margul and as I yawn. Uh, shower in the island with a, with his song at full volume. Yes. Once the dream spirit awaken. We will defeat them one by one. Hmm. Wow, I'm, I must be really tired. My ship, the Zalbez, this ship can no longer set sail. I can't steer it. Ha! 
Who's asking you anyways? Listen up, mateys. This ship is no longer the Zalbus, but the SS Invincible. Set the course for Marbul and man your stations. It's useless. We'll see about that. Come on, everyone. We're going to take back our beautiful island of Marble. Yeah, let's do it. Neat. Heave. Ho. Heave ho. So this is what progress feels like. How the... You don't even know that. The desire to return to one's home is steering the ship forward. You mean, the demi-humans? Once this ship reaches Marbul, Nicky will begin his concert. We gotta do what we can to wake those monsters from their nightmare. So long, Fargo. I've come to many senses. It's time you did the same. Yes. Oh, hey. <laughs> Looks like they finally did it. Behold, my people. Marbule is straight ahead. Well then, it's about time we get down to business. So, the song that they're supposed to sing is the victory fanfare of the game. Oh my. Adrift, 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 from now, or from how many dreams have I awakened? What? How many, uh, morrows? Half past. Morrows is what, how that's pronounced. All right. The days when victory meant oh, everything have come to an end. Yesterday's friends become tomorrow's foes. To flow the days filled with betrayal and enmity. Once one reaches the summit, all that remains is one's inevitable downfall. All has become lost. The inhuman... Wait, the innumerable uh, wounds, once decorations of glory, have begun instead of, instead to ache. Ah, have I awoken? Where might I be? Could this be the grave of the narwhal, narwhals, narwhals? What? <sighs> Come on, dude. Um, uh, that is said to lie hidden in the seas. Fairies. Yes. Oh, hey. Where am I? So, I'm all alone. Just desserts for the likes of me. Betrayed by the very ones in whom I trusted. Gone are the friends with whom I shared my dreams, alone, with no lover to share my sorrows. Hither. Is someone... What? Or hither. Be it thou, my savior sweet. I manly mariner. Be thou not a mare maiden, but a mare mare maiden. What? Mere maiden, but mermaiden. Yes, yes, that's how that was pronounced. Thou art surprised. Only that one such as thee would help a human like me. 
My eternal gratitude is thine, sweet serene of the sea. Sweet siren of the sea. Twas but the proper thing. Why art thou alone here? Whence cometh the wounds that uh, afflict thee so? Tis too sad a tale to tell one so fair. If thou wishest not to speak of such things, I shan't force thee to tell them unto me. Instead, kind sir, may I inquire as to the world from which thou comest. Is this eliciting a response? Am I bringing out the emotion? Enough! What, or that shall suffice. What a wretched, woeful tell thou hast. Thou needest not fight anymore. Huh? The world from whence thou comest lacks any form of pleasure. Pleasure? Dear sailor man, let me hear the song that thou dost like best. A splendid song from a faraway world unknown to the likes of me. A song of such a thing I know not. Wherefore wouldst thou hear my croonings? Neptunian nymph, freaking hell, surely there is naught to be gained from it. This is not how I expected this episode to go. What a poor miserable man thou art, songs to be the soul's delight. May one is sad songs greatly wait, gently envelop one's sorrows. And when one is happy, songs are there to share the joy with thee. That be the very essence of song. So thou sayest. Unfortunately, singing has no relevance to me. A long ago I long ago forgot how to laugh and how to cry. How awfully nostalgic. I feel as though I have heard that song before somewhere long ago. A mysterious melody. Mal melody. Come on. Uh, my brain's going to different places. That bathes thee in a warm glow. It is a precious song handed down generations to generation on my island. It seems to have reached the heart of thee who knows not of song. Ha, now make me a promise. Repay me for saving you by singing this song for me. Hold on! Such a thing I cannot do! Cannot is different from will not. Please promise to grant this one petition. Wait! Do not go! She already went! Before you said that. Okay. Ah, <sighs> as I thought, I'm unable to perform such music. Thou seem troubled. Who might you be? Our sister shan't come out again until thou singest. Please, I beg ye, uh, teach me how to sing. Music and song are not something that thou canst teach or learn. They are things that thou must feel. First try playing that notes. Is this real life? That is terrible. Tis void of all emotion. Thou dost need not to be a bard, so long as thou express thy feelings. The thoughts of thy heart that words cannot express. Let thy instrument tell us what thou want to say.
I think I've heard this before. Is this the background music when you're on the dance of Zabas? Tis better. Keep it up. Thou art a kind man, we can tell from the sound thou makest. <laughs> thou hast got it! Aye, tis becoming fun! Oh, here we are. Well, what does thou think? Tis beautiful. Each note enwraps my very soul. If ever thou art sorrowed, and at the limits of despair, then croon this song and remember, dear, this very moment, the time when our hearts began to beat to one rhythm, and know that our song will continue on forevermore. Lo, the stars doth twinkle and s and accord with our song. The brighter one is the star of dear mid, dear mid. The next to it, the star of Grania, can be seen shining so faintly. We mariners uh, navigate our vessels by these two stars. Thou art a knowledgeable man. I not knew the names of such luminaries. I just saw them as jewels that shine in the night sky. I didn't realize that stars could look so beautiful, especially when they're the only two there. I never took the time to gaze at them like this before, nor ever heard the song that they had been singing unto me. Did we save Marvel yet? Is it safe? Uh, now that I have spent that se wait, what seems like days singing here with thee, I have come to realize that there is more than what it seems to be. The twinkling of the stars, the waving of the waves, Ever sil even silence itself. All sing in harmony with thee and me. Tis strange to think that both thy world and mine share the same stars. Speaking of which, I must soon return to my world. Wherefore, dear sir, thou dost not like it here? My pursuers are nigh. My staying here will d endanger thy folk. Then allow me to come with thee, sweet sir. I cannot allow such a thing. When step out of here lie treacherous temp uh, tempests and woeful warfare. Yet even then, even then thou dost say th thou shalt come with me. I know that for a certainty. Oh, yet for this place only to have peace while the whole world is at war is a selfishness itself. Perhaps the love we share can be shared with the whole world. Both nature and mankind must surely desire to live hand in hand. Then comest thou to me, my sweet sea spirit, or sprite is what he said, until the whole world hath come to live in heavenly harmony. Upon that day shall I bring thee back to this idyllic isle. Then, then and only then, will both our worlds have peace between nature and human folk, and resonate in chorus with our anthem dear. 
Together, let us build that whole new world. Come, my maiden, come! Magic! Yes? We did it, probably, I think. Oh, Zalbus, does a song call out to your heart? You taught me this song. For a long time, I've been trying to regain what I've lost, but to no avail. But now, I feel as if the one important thing has finally returned, thanks to the irreplaceable treasure you left behind. So you're happy for me, too. Even though she said that, I too was unable to fulfill the promise I made, Zalbus. Her dream is also my dream, Zalbus. I promised never to use this attack again, but there is no avoiding it. Please forgive me. This time, I will protect you. Fargo broke the seal of Invincible! Neat! Alright then, I'll show you how serious I can get. It's time for me to let loose a marble. Are we, like, physically going to marble? I'm so confused. I don't know what any of this means. The Great Explorer Toba. Yo, yo guys! I'm sure you've noticed, but something's uh, ain't right. Uh, I know they're harmless, but... They've grown in numbers. If these monsters are somebody's bad dream, then whose? Or, or what? Dream? Then does that mean that if these monsters die, someone or something will wake up? I bet the dreamer is ten times as nasty as this nightmare. It's probably some big, huge, gnarly dragon. S Sir Toma, I think we're, uh, we're about done here. The... Uh, Er, uh, yeah. Well, I think I'm through with my investigation here. Don't get the wrong idea. It's not that I'm scared or anything. Well, take care. But you are scared. We must do battle. In our desire to save Marble. Yeah. Oh no. Just for kicks. Oh, I know who you are. Ah, ah, oh, it did nothing. Excellent. Hey, yeah. Have some more. And uh, have some fer. No, have some feral cats. Your turn. Oh, that one's almost dead. I would rather go after this dude. Punch. Kick. Oh, no. He's doing just for kicks again. No! Riddell! Ouch. She's fine. Yeah. Let us use... Hey, I can use cannonballs. Neat. Cannonballs to the rescue. One of them. Yeah. And dead. I wonder, 
there was a save point nearby. Woo! I do need the HP up. Uh, let me go in here real quick. Um, there is no save point. Excellent! Can I leave? Oh, cool, I can leave. Excellent! I can also save and stuff! Uh, I'm gonna save here, because it won't get confusing, probably. He was hoping. Save complete. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna. I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna do that. Uh, yes. In the video. Uh. Thank you for watching. Please press that little subscribe button. That'd be awesome. And the also, if you like this video, you can like and share it. That'd be great. Ooh. Oh. 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 There's barking now. All right, cool. I'm being serenaded with parking. So yes, uh, I'm gonna go wake up the black dragon. I think. I think that was a reference to the fact that the black dragon is asleep because of those nightmares. Which that is that is one power that dragon has to sleep and make nightmares in a different world. So yes, thank you for watching. I'll see you then. Goodbye.